session one. This is for my Patreon subscribers. There are signs and signals from beyond, the veil revealing unto you now. Blessed be. Session one. First, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I am intuitive. Um, it's something that I've had all my life, but kind of suppressed it because I, it kind of scared me. So in my later years, I found that I could help people, and especially people with um, missing family members or people that had needed answers to solve cold cases. So I've helped detective in Washington State and a family in Chicago and just helped them with information. And I believe the information was good and was was used. Um, as I helped the family in Chicago, I realized how strong my abilities have gotten. And as I've been opening up these abilities and accepting them, um, something else came through that was unexpected about six months ago. And it was quite large and it was white. And I am believing it's a Bigfoot. I'm an artist and I started painting Bigfoots out of the blue. I went from really pretty girls painting females like Nefertiti and then I started painting Bigfoot. So, um,. It's out of character for me. This whole thing is out of character for me. But um, I find some sort of spirituality with it. So I had a session with this creature, this um, being that was coming to me that looked like a completely white Bigfoot. And I would say as I'm sitting in a chair, it was standing behind me one night and I was at the computer. And when I went to turn to get up off the chair, I fell back into the chair because I had white fur legs right beside me, which I had no idea. It scared me to death, and I believe once this entity saw that I was scared, it disappeared, it vaporized. Um, I came a little bit above its knees as I started to rise out of the chair. I'm five four and a half, so that shows you how big it was. Um, I didn't want to look up and see its face. But it scared me. I was quite shaken up for quite a while because I don't like spirits to actually appear to me. I don't mind them talking to me, sensing them, um, seeing visions of them. But to manifest yourself live in my home is quite kind of shakes me up a little bit. So I hope um, she doesn't do it again. I do feel it's a she. So here is session one. Um, just the first part of July I did this. I asked this um, entity, creature, what its name was, and it spelt out N-T-I-L. What are you? I asked. It responded, a man, meaning human, and another species from other worlds. When did they start mixing your race with us humans? The response was millions of years ago. Did you walk with the dinosaurs? It answered yes. Did we evolve from you? No. Did we evolve from did we evolve from apes? I'm talking about us as humans. Did we come as apes to the human race like they um taught us in school and this uh, Natil, I name her, said no. We were always humans, I asked. Yes. Different species of humans, hybrids, from other worlds are here besides my species, she says. What do you call your species, I asked. H-I-L-M-S. I believe it's called Hilms, and I believe they're a tribe, or I believe she called them a tribe. Do you have laws? Do you have laws that you have to abide by? Natil responds, yes. Who makes your laws? The same God, she responded. Natil has been observing me. I asked Natil, 
Why do you smell so bad? For protection. Do you have a family? I asked Natil. Yes. How many children did you bear? This one I said, did you bear? I assume she has passed on because that's usually who I see. And she responded, 67. Natil is female. She told me not to fear her. She says, do not fear me. She is, drawn, she is drawing me to the forest. If anybody knows me, I was a city girl raised in California and then went up to Washington State. Now I live in Idaho. I am not a forest person, a camper. I am a city girl, so to be drawn to a forest, I would have to really be prepared to do that and not be alone. Something about the eclipse has meaning to them. So I asked, the eclipse, oh, actually she said, the eclipse has meaning. That's when they come, she says. I said, who? She says, our protectors. Can you see them? I asked her. She said, yes. Can a human see them? She says, no. They give us hope, she says, spiritually. I asked her if some of the hymns, H-I-L-M-S, are nice. She said, yes. Are some evil? No. Some just break the laws, she says. How many years did you walk the earth, I asked her. She said, 82. Did you ever see a human, I asked her. She said, no. Natil knew about humans, but did not know what they looked like. Did you have a husband, I asked her. She said, yes. I asked, how many did you have? She said, 54. That, that really t took me off guard. What did you love about Earth, I asked her. She said, the deer. They were my friends. She talked to them telepathically, like I am talking to you now. This is enough as our introduction Oh, and then she tells me, this is enough as our introduction. I will begin to relay messages to you soon. Keep them private and hidden for many. Keep them hidden and private for many when they find out will cause you harm and grief, and I will not be able to protect you. So she warns me about that. So that's why I'm not introducing this to the world, only to a small, small group of Patreon subscribers. Um, I'm taking this slow. I'm taking the sessions slow. Um, I feel, feel she wants me to do them quite often, and I can't. I work a full-time job, and I'm exhausted at the end of the day, and I don't want to do these sessions exhausted. So I do them pretty much when I have time off, or on the weekends, when I have time. Then she says, there will be a right time and I will let you know as my protectors instruct me. I love you. You are extremely beloved across the veil. We will protect your heart and mind and bring forward and bring forward now the relief that you need. Be sound and bring your vibration to a calm. Know you are now more protected than usual. I follow you. I am assigned to be with you the rest of your days, which will be long, and you will prosper in all your needs and wants. She ends it a very special way, and I believe she ends it in her own language. It's T-H-R-U-N-T-E-N-O-K-P-U, then with the whoop. So Thorunt and Nock. Who, whoop, I believe, and that whoop is how they do it. So, thrunt in poo, and then whoop, and that's her sign off. That is our first section session. And for those that listen to this, I ask that you keep it private. You do not share it, because I believe there is a warning in that for me. Um, not everybody will believe this. That's okay. It's cool. I don't know if I would believe it if it didn't ha actually happen to me. So take it as an inspiration, spiritual, um, 
and just find calmness in it. Find calmness in nature. Nature is here for us, and it's for us to beloved, honor, and cherish. And um, I feel not too many people have that um, reverence for nature. And so I honor and pray that Natil and the Hilms and many other Bigfoots will be protected as many are seeking them for fame, for being the first one to capture one. It's all very silly and we are here to learn from them. They know your heart. They know if you're good. And uh, I think the ones that are aggressive are the ones that have dealt with humans quite a bit. And they know that you can hurt them, harm them. So they're aggressive towards you because they see you as a threat. Um, the ones higher up into the mountains do not know of you. They're curious of you and they, they feel your heart. So if your heart is good and pure, um, and when I say pure, I mean not foul, um, evil, and um, it does not exist harm to them, um, they will start coming to trust you. Um, if you do s happen to see one, I know there's some people that are investigating them and spending the night now, and these um, Bigfoots are coming around them and investigating them. If you have one come to you and you see it, put your head down in reverence and honor it like you would a king, and that Bigfoot will know that you are not going to harm it, so it will not harm you. Thank you, and we will continue on. Have a good rest of the week. Bye-bye.